Okay, so it's a little bit windy today, but nothing that we can't overcome. It's a beautiful day still. Uh, sun's just coming out, a little bit overcast at the same time. But that's all right. I'm just gonna punch my first hole, a random spot. I didn't choose a spot specifically because it's a good spot. I just, I just drill wherever. It's gonna be for my jaw jacker first. If I only can get this thing started. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, so I just punched a single hole right here for the jaw jacker. Two double holes over there, not connected to each other though. The extra holes basically, it's just for my transducer, for my Markham. I'm fishing light line today, so I don't wanna have to fiddle and uh, tangle with my transducer if I do catch a fish. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start scooping out my uh, jaw jacker hole here. Probably gonna either use uh, either a worm or red maggots. So I don't want the jaw jacker tripping over and over from uh, any perch. So I'm gonna put it probably at least mid water column. Actually, let's power on the LX9. Start this baby up first. I don't, let's see what depth I'm working with here. Okay, so I'm at about 12 feet right now. And that's gonna be the depth for this jaw jacker, I guess. The lure of choice for this jaw jacker, it's gonna be this uh, Chikai is what they call it. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. It's a little tiny, just a small five millimeter tungsten jig. Probably give this one maybe a little piece of worm. See how that works. Okay, so now that I got my jaw jacker set up, let's move to my jigging hole. And we're gonna jig for some uh, perch right at the bottom. Let's get started with that one. This is the most boring part of ice fishing. Scooping ice holes. Okay, as for this one in my hand, I'm gonna use balance, like a small balance jig. Very small, it's got one hook on each side. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that does the trick for today. If they bite one side and they rip off a couple maggots, at least it has the other side still. Oh, there we got something here. There we go. Got one, my first one. Okay, first little guy here on the board. They are still down there. So let's keep going quick. We only can get this line down without getting it tangled in the ice. Okay, as I'm dropping down, I can see perch on the bottom coming up. There, next one. Within like just a quick moment. That's the next one right there. Unfortunately, this jig is not tungsten. So it takes a little bit of time. And I don't have any pinch weights, so we'll just make do with what we have. It's only been like a minute and some since I caught my last one here. 
Okay. Another one coming up right there and there. Oh, that's a bigger one. Slightly bigger guy. So that's three in a, two minutes, basically. About two minutes. That's next one. So that was actually two minutes and like 20 seconds. They're so much more aggressive as soon as I switch to two pound test. Two pound fluorocarbon, specifically is what I sw switched to. There's the next guy. Okay, so I just caught that one, drop back down, and there's three on my screen at least. Oh, missed that one. Oh, missing hook sets. Oh. oh, he lost him. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a perch. Six feet up the water column, I think. And he took a worm. <laughs> That's surprising. I thought it was going to be like a... I thought it was going to be a, a trout or something. Too bad it was just a perch. There was a perch halfway up the water column. Must be very small. Yeah, very small. Okay, smallest one of the day. Not keeping this guy. Okay. Gotcha. Got off easy. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many fish in this water body. And I can't catch them. Oh. Ha, gotcha. Well, pesky little guy. Uh, it's a little small. Should I eat him? Uh, let's get a bigger guy. I'm cold. Got another one. Cold fingers. There's fish swimming around right now, right around my lure. Quite a few of them, actually. Got another one. That was a half decent size, compared to the other ones, at least. Yeah, such a light bite. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a decent size, not too bad.
Oh. Wow. Oh, it's a bigger guy. <laughs> Not bad. One of the biggest ones of the day. Dang, yeah. <laughs> Oh, jaw jacker went off. Jaw jacker caught something. I can't see the hole. Where's the hole? Oh. Oh. Ah! My line broke. Rear right the top. Caught this beautiful, beautiful perch. It's actually the biggest one of the day. Let's see how big he actually is here. Nine inch, caught a nine inch perch. Awesome. It's gonna be great. Good eating. All right, so that's the end of the day for me today. Uh, I'm gonna take home uh, 13 perch in total. Biggest one at about nine inches. Uh, so he's uh, not too bad of a size. Good for a, a place that has a bunch of stunted perch or small perch. So I'll show you guys my catch right here. Aside from that, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time. Oh. That is the catch of the day.